Hello and welcome to my next YouTube video. This is my Monday workout. And what you'll be seeing here is actually me doing a deload a week where I do all my exercises, except I do one set of everything with the same amount of intensity because I like to rest every three weeks or so. So I'm starting out with legs, doing a sissy squat, something that I learned very recently. That's been very useful for helping me develop my quads, except me, especially my inner quads. And when you enter the cable tower, Doing just squats gets very exhausting and puts a lot of stress on the hips after a while. So finding this very quad dominant, less hip dominant exercise has been very useful for me. You see me here doing about 20 reps or so. I would definitely recommend doing this at a higher amount of repetitions because the position where you get into can be really can be unstable and very difficult to get out of the position whenever you get to heavier weights because you're, you'll be using way more other muscle groups besides the ones you're supposed to be using, which is your quads. You could even do this as a finisher at the end of your workout after your legs if you still want to do with some more leg volume. Next, I'm doing a pinwheel curl, which is me working my brachialis, which is the muscle that goes up the side of the bicep and it gives the bicep the width from the front. So I started doing these more recently in the past couple weeks. I do about six sets total a week for the brachialis and then do six to seven more sets on regular bicep workouts. It also works out your form as well just because of how you're lifting the weight. And these also get much better for just lower rep, or I mean higher reps as a whole just because of how you're moving the body. And you see me doing the other side as well. I usually start out with my weaker side first, or my less developed side, which is my left arm, just because of how my body is structured. My right bicep is way more developed and possibly a little bit stronger than my left, but I'm not really sure because I haven't really tested that much. But here I'm doing about 14 reps or so. And I usually do hammer curls, not hammer curls, pinwheel curls twice a week. I don't really do too much variety. I just keep it to just that and regular biceps for the week. Next I'm doing an upright row which is going to be working your side delt, rear delt, and a little bit of traps. And this is after I do my main lateral shoulder exercise for the, the day, which is just regular lateral raises. And with these, depending on your body structure, like with me, I prefer having my hands further outward to where they're at the edges of my chest and I'm pulling my through my elbows. I'm not pulling with my hands. Using the elbows more is going to use more of your side lateral delts as opposed to doing your hands which you use more of your traps and rear delt. And this can even be done any day of the week that you want if you want to just do extra volume for your shoulders without much of an issue. But the problem with it is that Depending on your hand placement and the amount of weight you're using, it's going to put a lot of stress on the rotator cuff. So use lighter weight and put your hands for that if you need to do so. Next one, I'm doing a leg extension. Just a single one because I can't do my uh, double leg leg extension anymore because I'm going to take out the chair I used to have. And because the thing rolls, if I use too much weight, I'm going to roll backward. So I have to do with what I can, but I actually kind of prefer this setup more than what I was doing with the other chair. And with these, I keep the reps also high because if they're too low, you're going to end up just using too much of the joint to get the movement even started. So it's much better to aim for the 10 to 15 rep range or so. I do about two sets of this after my main leg workout, so I end up doing five sets of quads or hamstrings each day that I use them. And then the next exercise I'm going to be doing is for the rear delt. It's just a bent over rear fly, very simple. And with the same thing as the other exercises that I've been showing you, high reps is always better just because you're able to get the uh, muscle to work better and activate it a little bit easier when you have lighter weight. Heavier weight for small muscles like this is gonna end up using the bigger muscles around it to lift the weight and you're barely gonna be getting any stimulus to that area. And whenever I get to the end of these kind of exercises, I always do a little bit of extra reps that are 
not for range of motion, but they're more partial until I can't get anymore. I learned this probably a few months ago on muscles like this, because I noticed that whenever I can't do a full rep anymore, my muscles don't really feel like they've been stimulated that much, so I started to do the extra um, reps at a lower range of motion just to get some extra work into that area, and it's helped phenomenally, especially my side delts. So it's normally like I'll get up to as high as I can to complete a full rep, and then I'll start getting as high as I can, stopping as I can, and stopping until I can't do any more. And then here is my so my single arm lateral raise. Well, here you see me not doing it right because I have it on the have it under the wrong leg. I kind of always forget whenever I do this exercise, and I apologize for the the glare on the the um the door there. I don't have I don't have the best setup for recording, but I do what I can. And it this looks similar to the reverse fly, but you see, you see I'm not bent over as much. I'm more upright. Whenever you bend over more, you're gonna be using more of the back musculature. If you're standing more upright, you're gonna be using more of your shoulders. And this one, I did probably 20 plus reps on it without really paying attention because I kind of get lost in these exercises sometimes because of how easy they can be. And I always start with my less developed side first, or my least strong side, which even though my right arm is more developed than my left, my left shoulder, well, my left scapula and left shoulder girdle is much stronger than my right one, just because of how my body is structured. So I end up doing way more reps on the left side, even though it's more developed. And that can happen with anybody. And you actually see that my workout is kind of short because I do have a bad habit of not recording all the exercises because I'll be very focused on doing them that I forget to record them. So some of my next video posts are probably going to be missing some exercises, but I'll, I'll still show what I did at the end of the video with the amount of weight that I picked and the sets that I did for my um, my fitness tracker. So my next video I'm gonna be doing is probably gonna be my Wednesday workout, which will be coming up soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.